Distinguished speakers, excellencies, dear participants, thank you for inviting me and for engaging the Human Rights Council. I'm glad that the World Press Freedom Day brings us together despite the physical distance. It is an honor to speak to you on the 30th anniversary of the World Press Freedom Day. This year's theme, Shaping a Future of Rights, Freedom of Expression as a Driver for All Other Human Rights, shows that freedom of expression is not about some special privileges. On the contrary, it is about protection and promotion of all human rights. This is also one of the key messages of our joint statement. Freedom of expression, and more particularly, media freedom, are a driver of human rights, such as the right to access information, the right to participate in public life, or the right to hold those in power accountable. When we talk about these human rights, it is good to remember that we talk about actual persons, journalists, media workers, or civil society actors. The Human Rights Council recognizes the crucial role of all those promoting and defending media freedom. Sadly, it is a fact that attacks on media freedom continue to take place. Journalists and media workers are being arrested, harassed and even killed for simply doing their jobs. Media outlets are being censored, shut down or restricted online as well as offline. These actions not only harm individual journalists and media organizations, but also erode the foundations of free and democratic societies. And the Human Rights Council deplores this worrying trend. We do not only express our concerns, we do act. Through its mandate, the Human Rights Council has a responsibility to monitor and document abuses of media freedom and to hold accountable those who commit such abuses. It does so through ad the adoption of specific resolutions, such as the one on the safety of journalists. It also requests the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights to report on abuses. It sets up investigative bodies and works with special procedures, including the UN Special Reporter on Freedom of Opinion and Expression and with civil society. It also supports work aimed at media literacy and education. All this can have a meaningful impact only if it reaches beyond our respective organizations. And this is why I support and welcome the joint initiative and cooperation led by UNESCO. Excellencies, dear participants, on this World Press Freedom Day, let me assure you that you can count on my support and the one of the Human Rights Council. Member States of the Human Rights Council are committed to working with you to promote and protect media freedom for all. Thank you for involving the Human Rights Council and congratulations on the successful event.